Hello Internet World, welcome to my review of the Creative Sound Blaster Katana SE. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer and no money's change hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, I'm purely sharing with you my opinion of this product so that you can make an informed buying decision. So we're going to start by taking a look at what you get inside the box, but I just want to let you know a little bit about the product first of all. So this is the Katana SE, it's a bi-amplified multi-channel gaming soundbar. It offers up 5.1 virtual surround sound, HDMI arc, USB audio, Bluetooth 5.0. It's also got some RGB color lighting, as you can see here on the box, offering up to 16.8 million RGB colors. 180 watt peak power output, Super X-Fi, also acoustic engine and Dolby audio support. What you're seeing here is the product box it comes supplied in. We've got the soundbar just sitting underneath here, which we'll take a closer look at very shortly. Also inside the box, we do get a quick start guide. This is gonna get you up and running with all of your connections and how to use the product. We also get some really nice brackets. We get two of these. They're rubberized on the back. They've got like this keyhole cut out in them. We mount these onto the wall and then this allows us to mount the soundbar on a wall, which is really very, very cool. So you get two brackets and you also get the mounting screws or hardware as well. We also get a USB cable. This is USB-A to USB-C. We also get an optical cable because this supports an optical audio input as well. We get a multi-voltage power supply. So this is multi-voltage. It's got a barrel type connector on this end and then a figure eight input on this end. And inside the box, you get a selection of different country specific plugs. So you get a two pin power cable. We also get a Euro power cable. And then last but not least, we get a three pin UK power cable. And all of these go into that multi-voltage power adapter. Then we also get a really nice remote control. This is a fully featured remote control. It's gonna give you access to all of the modes, the display, info, the RGB lighting, and allow you to navigate around the various features of the system. And of course, we've got some media controls in the center there as well. What you're seeing now is the top surface of the soundbar and we've got some physical control. So if you didn't have access to the remote control, you can still do power on and off and also change to Bluetooth mode, for example. We've got volume up and down, source selection, mode selection, and the SX5 selection as well. Now, while we're looking at the top, I will just let you know, there are two upwards firing speakers, one on either end, and these sound absolutely superb as well. Moving round to the back of the unit, we've got all of the inputs and outputs. And before we take a look at these, I just want to show you just here. We've got some extra sort of driver ports here as well, which really add to the extension of the bass frequency. This outputs a big amount of power. The audio is so, so good. And the lower frequencies delivered by this unit are exceptional. So let's move back to that middle section just here with all the inputs and outputs. So we've got the HDMI output. So this is HDMI arc. We've also got SX5 out. We've got USB in, auxiliary in, optical in, and then the input for the included power adapter. When the Katana SE is powered on, not only are you greeted by the awesome RGB lighting, which looks just absolutely stunning, of course, you can configure the lighting. You can turn it off completely if you want to, but I just must emphasize, it is so, so bright and really adds to the experience, especially when you're gaming. I would probably turn the lighting off if I was watching a movie, but certainly gaming, it looks superb. Now, not only are we greeted with the RGB lighting on the underside here, but we've also got the display in the middle. Now, it might flicker on your screen, but to the naked eye, it's completely stable. It's a really nice large display, really looks nice. Very, very glossy, does pick up a little bit of dust and fingerprints, of course. Thankfully, you don't have to touch it. We've also got this three and a half millimeter headphone input on the front, or headphone output, I should say, on the front. We've got the controls on the top. So for this demonstration, I'm just gonna flick through the sources. So we've got USB, we've got optical, auxiliary, Bluetooth, TV, 
and background to USB. And then modes, we can switch between gaming mode, effects mode, movies, music, and background to gaming. It really is a very easy to use and easy to navigate system. Now I've been listening to a lot of uh, sources connected mainly via HDMI and I've switched between the various modes. And in movies mode is where I've spent most of my time. It really does give you a, an earth shattering, fully encompassing, really detailed audio experience for watching back movies. And I think it's just an exceptional quality sound for the size of this soundbar. And then if we switch through into gaming mode, if we're playing some games and we want to really improve on that gaming experience and have expansive audio, that really helps you get involved in the game a lot, lot more, then this gaming mode seems to really do the trick. It, it almost surrounds you with sound. It gives you that sort of virtual uh, 5.1 surround sound. I think that Creative done a fantastic job on how this looks, how you navigate it, and more importantly, how the Katana SE sounds. So in closing, would I recommend the Katana SE? Well, first of all, I wanna let you know that I love the look of this unit. It's nice and compact, very easy to sit underneath your TV or your monitor, but just as easy to mount on the wall as well. Would I recommend it on the features? Absolutely. And would I recommend it on the sound and the improvement it makes to the built-in speakers on your TV, for example? Well, that gets a resounding yes as well. This sounds exceptional and punches far above its price point. As such, I can highly recommend it. Now, if you wanna pick up one of these for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description. If you liked my video, please do hit that like button and please also consider subscribing. It really does help the channel out. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.